Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam. And I'm Tristan, and today we're gonna to be watching A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. Well, well, going into this one, we are going to it semi-blind, I would say, because we saw the first one. What did we one. see? Well, we see so, yeah, uh, check that out on the channel if you haven't already. But I don't know exactly what to expect for the sequel. I haven't mm -hmm. heard anything about it. And these ones are so old that when the trailers were coming out, we weren't even alive yet. So, yeah, I don't even really remember in any of the comments if they said anything about this one at all. Because in the Halloween ones, they I saw some comments saying that it's going to be like the same night and stuff for Halloween too. So I don't know if we're going to get any of the same actors slash actresses besides, I assume, Freddy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like that. obviously that character is going to continue into this one. But. Yeah, I did see some comments for the first one saying, some people were saying like that the whole thing was a dream, that the end mm. was a dream that it was like never not a dream. So I don't know if that girl, because remember she just drove off in the car yeah, with her Nancy. friends and her mom got yanked through yanked the little through the door window. window. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know if it's gonna follow up on that or if we're gonna get all new kids that Freddie's gonna come after or maybe adults, who knows. Yeah, maybe it's them grown up or something for all we know. Yeah. But either way, uh, out of all the classics that we have watched so far for the channel, yeah. so Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street was my favorite. I so, like Nightmare on Elm Street too a lot. So it seemed like more of a newer style movie and also the like special effects and stuff weren't like super cheesy they weren't too bad yeah and it was kind of creepy too like it, it was, was more, very creepy yeah, yeah it was more creepy freddy like just had a very weird vibe to him obviously because he's a, a killer but he he's just very like when he'd stick his tongue out and he was very like just and, gross yeah, and laughing yeah and, yeah there was a lot of things like that like he was just so sadistic and cruel yeah and yeah he definitely had extremely spooky vibes yeah so, definitely yeah i'm actually kind of looking forward to, i am too <laughs> even I'm after saying that i'm looking forward to seeing him again like we we're saying we don't know what to expect but because we like that one so much i'm excited to see what the next installment in the franchise yeah i hope this is a good sequel me too that is an old looking school bus yeah I feel like school bus has never changed over time, but looking at that, that's an old look at school bus. Mm -hmm. ah. That guy kind of looked like Freddy, doesn't he? The school bus driver? Did he? I didn't I notice. Know. So we don't have that really spooky intro that we had in the first one. Not yet, at least. Obviously not the same thing, but... Uh-oh. Hey, driver! Hey! Hey, driver! That was my stuff! Uh-oh. Is it Freddy? He looked kind of like... That would be so terrifying. The school bus driver just goes rogue. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Uh... <gasps> it is Freddy. Wow, you called that. Well, his face looked like it, like side profile. I wonder whose dream this is. Bus is old. The nails. Classic. There you go. It's the most evil thing he's ever done. Turn him into tomatoes. They do not seem that phased. Why can't Jesse wake up like everybody else? Uh -huh. Oh, honey, he's all right. So this is he a normal thing, that's why. Oh, his head. But he didn't die. He must have woken up before Freddy got him. Did they just move in? I want that room unpacked by tonight, young man. Okay, Dad, I promise. No, I don't want 
need more promises, Jesse. I'll get on it. The layout of the house looks very similar to the first one. Oh. Damn. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. We'll pay attention next time. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> You're out. Heads up play great. Oh! You oh. pantsed him. Nice ass. <laughs> She's into it. Jeez. Oh, now he's got dirt butt. Yeah. Mm. He's gonna get an infection. Assume the position. Assume the position. Oh, push it. How much longer do you think he's gonna keep us out here? It could be all night. <laughs> so what about you and that rich babe you've been cruising to school with every day? Rich babe. What about her? Are you mounting her nightly or what? <laughs> so you live around here or what? Oh, they're gonna yeah, become my friends. Just bought a place on Elm Street. Parents just bought the like... White House. The bars in the window. Yeah, yeah it. it's Nancy's house. Shit. You can tell your old man he's a real chump. Oh. Some chick was locked in there by her mother and she went crazy. She watched her boyfriend get butchered across the street by some maniac. Well, so people continue to think that Nancy was crazy. Yeah. And I thought the layout looked similar yeah. and it should be on the same street, but I just, you know, a lot of times the houses in one development are all built by the same architect so they look the same. Oh, he's dreaming. It's another thing that's cool about these movies is you never know when they're dreaming I and know. when they're not. Yeah, it really keeps you on your toes. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, he can't sleep. He's going down. And then all of a sudden you see Freddy and you're like, oh my God, is he dreaming right mm -hmm. now? He's got to be. There he is. Uh, heck. What's he pulling out of there? His claw hand? Dad? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> we need you, Jesse. He seems so resigned to it. I was gonna say. He doesn't really care. Look at him. He's like, all right, whatever you say. <laughs> You've got the body. I've got the brain. Ew. Oh, there we go. Now he's freaked out. Freddie, you're so gross. Yes? You think we should call a doctor? No. It's just a bad dream. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Go back to sleep to that bad dream. So, to review the solid waste. Well, I passed out through the colon. That's right. <laughs> Liquid nutrients are then carried through an elaborate system of filtering. Oh, he's gonna fall asleep in class. I wonder if he's gonna find the boiler room. And this entire process is kept moving through the circulatory system. There, it trades off carbon dioxide for oxygen. Oh, oh. A snack. I just think that's so brave of the actors. Oh, that was really happening. <laughs> Give me my snake back. If you want to play with animals, Mr. Walsh, join the circus. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did they do that to them? I'm confused, because oh, wow. they never moved. Where are you going, Jess? Just out for a little while. I told you I want that room unpacked. Dan, I'm just going out nope. for an hour or two. Upstairs. I mean, you can't live in an unpacked room. I could. You could, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. Oh. No sense of organization. How do you like that, man? <laughs> oh. Is that oh, Lisa came over? <laughs> Maybe this is a bad dream. I'll leave the two of you alone. Excuse me. <laughs> Where does this go? Jock itch. 
Do sweaters go in the closet? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Oh. What's this? Leftover. Looks like a diary to me. Nancy Thompson, oh. 1428 Elm Street. Nancy's diary. That's right, here. That's right here. Sometimes when I'm lying here in bed, I can see Glenn in his window across the way, getting ready for bed. He comes to me at night. Oh, here we go. Horrible, ugly, mm. dirty. He's gonna be like, oh my God. Under the sheets with me. <laughs> tearing at my nightgown <laughs> with his steel claw. Look at him, he's like, uh. He's like, wait a second, hold up. His name is Fred. And he keeps trying to take me to the boiler room. He wants to kill me. Tina is dead. Jess, are you okay? It's just something that Grady said to me about the girl that used to live here. How she went crazy when she saw her boyfriend get murdered across the street. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dream world confirmed. Some sort of goo. Freddy goo. Yeah. Everything's melting. Oh, well, he is really hot. Yeah. Freddy, turn the heat up. Boiler room. Boiler room. I wonder if he's going to use the diary to get some info, you know? Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe she wrote down how to take him out of the dream world or something. But yeah. also, I don't know, because technically, I guess she was in a dream the whole time. I don't know. It's Next still the in there. Hand. Well, he's got to be dreaming. There it is. Well, dream or not, that's where his mom hid that. Or Look. her mom hid that. Yeah, that's where Freddy was in his other dream the other night. <laughs> he's like, nah, man. He's I'm like, good. Hell nah, man. So he's trying to use Jesse to like kill people for him? Put it on. Can I sit in the diary for a little while? Thanks. Ooh, I don't think you should be getting yourself involved, Lisa. I got your invitation for the party this yeah. weekend. Any cute guys gonna be there? <gasps> All of them. Is your dad gonna be the DJ again? Mom's gonna try to keep him upstairs this time. Okay. <laughs> Last party I had, my dad insisted on playing Benny Goodman records all night. So, I'll see you later. Okay? Ooh! What? A big smile on Dang. his face. Dang. Hey, Grady, you remember your dreams? Only the wet ones. <laughs> no talk. Classic. Schneider shouldn't have called you out on that last play. <gasps> yeah, well, Schneider's got a stick up his ass. Too. Ooh! Schneider's always got a stick up his ass. Oh. <laughs> Hello, dirtball. <laughs> oh, get back to doing push-ups, dirtballs. Yep. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they can't stand a troll. It is so hot in here. Uh, sure, it's 97 degrees in here. That's really hot. Oh my god. Oh, bird cam. Are we in a dream or I no? I think so. Good God. If they're not in a dream, then you guys should get out of there because that place is demonic, which it already kind of is. What are you doing? Just to help me move this thing. It isn't the gas. Don't tell me it's not the so gas. So it's not a dream. I guess not. It's that cheap seed you've been buying. Oh, please, can you? Really no, it could be. It's got to be a rational explanation. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? <laughs> What'd you use? Firecrackers? You know what he did? He used a goddamn cherry bomb. Oh, stop. That's what he did. Why would you, you blow up a bird like for fun? That kid would be a sicko if that was the case. He took a long time to unpack his room. Clearly, he's blowing up birds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in dreamland. <laughs> uh -oh. 
I have a beer, please. So is he really there? He's interacting with mm. other people. Nah, he's gotta be dreaming. You just give him a glass for his beer? It's not like a beer glass. <laughs> yeah. You just poured that so wrong. Hit the shower. It was real weird. Yeah, why are we now seeing things through the coach's perspective if it's I a don't dream? Know. That's why it's so weird. Uh oh. Jesus. Oh, he's getting strangled. Now he's freaking out. Yeah, he seemed so on like he's dodging the balls, but his the look on his face seemed like he didn't even care. Like it was super normal. No, 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 no. But what the hell? Oh, okay. I'm watching right now. Did he just become Freddy? Maybe it's the coach's dream? And Jesse's back. <gasps> He's wearing the claws. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Good evening, Hans. Does this belong to you? Uh, yes, it is. My son. I'd keep a short leash on him if I were you. Okay, so did he just kill his coach? That was a dream for sure. What are you taking, son? <laughs> Who are you getting it from? I'm not taking drugs. I'm waiting to see if the next day it's like reported that the coach it's of the high school good, died. When he was running around the gym, there was like a red, like the gym like wasn't r real. Yeah, there's ambulances. Ambulance, police cars. So he really murdered his coach for Freddy. Yo, man, where have you been? Cider got wasted last night. He must have been working late. Some maniac came in and sliced him up like a kibasa. Packed him in the shower. He got bloody footprints all over the place. Wow. <sighs> oh, look at it. Move it, moving on its own. Got the chant back. We're getting the chant. Okay. Here we go with the coffee again. How come it took him five years to sell this house? Oh, I don't know. I just couldn't get the right price, I suppose. You didn't know anything about the murder across the street? And the crazy girl that lived here that saw the whole thing? But you I... mean you knew something about this and oh, you... come on, Cheryl. How do you think we got such a good deal here, huh? <laughs> Did they tell you that that girl lost her mind? And her mother killed herself in our living room. What? Oh. oh. There's absolutely nothing, I mean nothing, wrong with this house. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but you're saying he's going crazy, so it's like... Lord. Also, you saw a bird explode, right. sir. Right. Craziest damn thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what? After uh, seeing a bird explode? Yeah. That's the craziest? When he plugged in. I mean, it's, yeah, weird, but... Well, wasn't even plugged in. Yeah, that's weird, but the bird thing... He's weird. like, the bird I can explain. Yeah. But the toaster not plugged in? Cherry come bomb, on. clearly. Yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> wow. What is this place? Fred Krueger worked here. It's mm. an old power plant. Hmm. I did some reading on our friend Fred Krueger. Yeah, she's been going deep. Yeah. Fred Krueger kidnapped 20 kids and brought them here and killed them. Do you feel anything? What do you mean? <laughs> Not showing empathy. I like might be able to make a connection or something. I feel like a jerk. Shh, just concentrate. Oh, what's that? He's feeling it. 
Ew. <laughs> Always rats. Or cats. Or kitties, that's right. But never in the same shot. Oh, not the little sister. Please leave the little girl alone. Wake up, little girl. She's like, you're ugly. I'm going back to bed. <gasps> oh, I knew it. It's late. Mm. Go back to sleep. She's like, well, why'd you just wake me up? Oh, he's taking the pills. To try and stay up. Oh, he's popping a lot of them. Dad's gonna bust. I knew you were taking something. Yeah. You know what I never realized? That color of the house is the color of Freddy's sweater. Red door, green roof. Yeah. You had another nightmare, didn't you? Yes, I had a bad night. Do you want to talk about it? My dad thinks I'm on drugs. My mom thinks I'm crazy. And you know, at this point, I don't know if I don't agree with her. Go stay with a friend. Hey, you want to go out and go to a movie or something, hang out? Maybe take your things off your mind, go to a picture or something? Hey, guys. <laughs> Why don't you swallow your food first? <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. So you going to Lisa's house tomorrow night? Nope. Right, I'm going to. I think my grandmother down a flight of stairs. What? Jesse, I think you should eat something. I'm not hungry. I wish you would talk to me. I don't know why you're wasting the time with this guy's basket case. Shut up, <laughs> Grady. Oh. oh. The whole cafeteria to turn and look. Fine, I'll shut up. No problem. See you around, buddy. Dang, who's party? Dad's grilling all the kids' burgers? I just hope Jesse doesn't fall asleep and then show up at the party in Freddy mode. That's probably what's gonna happen. A lot of potential yeah, victims. There he is, he's fine. Skinny. It's time for bed. 12.30, miss. No later. 12.30, have a nice time. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm not into this. Jesse, why won't you talk to me? You already know everything, don't you? Will you just leave me alone? You're not being Also fair. green towel, red towel. I mm. wanna help you. I feel like I'm losing my mind. And I don't want you to watch me fall apart. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. How oh, sweet, Lisa. Dang. A little kiss on the side of the mouth, okay. Uh-oh. Where's Freddy at? I'm waiting, you know? Oh my god, that is so disgusting. What is it? Jesse, what's wrong? You stink, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for her. Mm -hmm. She probably feels so embarrassed. Girl, if you saw what we just saw, you'd be happy he just left. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna kill you now. I need you to let me stay here tonight. Are you out of your mind? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I killed Snyder. Oh. <gasps> you what? He's admitting it? Well, it wasn't me, see? There's something inside of me. And last night it made me go to my sister's room. I think you are seriously losing it, bro. Yeah, I would definitely not let you stay at my exactly. house after that. Exactly. I murdered someone. Can I stay the yeah. night? <laughs> I'm in trouble, and I need you to help me. All right, man, what do you want me to do? Give me a blanket. Just watch me. If I start to act weird, or start dreaming weird. Wake him to hell up. If I try to walk out of here, you gotta stop me. Don't fall asleep. Oh. Well, if he's anything like Glenn, he's, he's gonna falling fall asleep. asleep. Yeah. That looks very uncomfortable. Yeah. You no, know no. he hasn't been getting good sleep if he can sleep in that position. Oh no, he's going to sleep. He's bailing on his mission. He's gonna die. You're right. Yep, he's getting killed. Faux show. <sighs> immediate. Grady? What? It's starting to happen again. Hey, man. 
Oh. Well, now you've seen it. Oh my god. Ew. Ooh. Oh, fillet of fish. Oh, oh no. He's trapped. Freddy's freaking head. He just shedded Jesse. Yeah, he did. You're toast, Grady. Run! Run! What is it? Run, Robert! Oh. God, he's creepy. Oh. Oh. And Jesse's no. back to normal. No. Oh, that's so horrible. That's so bad. Cause like, who's gonna believe you? You're going to jail, yeah, though. Yeah, they're just taking him straight to jail, right? Oh, he's fleeing. Jesse, my God, what happened? I killed him. I killed him. I killed Brady. Lisa, I killed Snyder. Oh, no, oh my God. Why is she I'm still so entertaining? Scared. Jesse, what are you talking about? I think he just told you. It's, it's got to be everything you've taken in. Uh, Schneider, the, the diary, the glove. Yeah, well, wait till you find out about Grady. Last night he made me try to kill my sister. He owns me. Hey, could somebody turn down the heat in the pool? Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, all that wasted beer. Jesse, it's something Nancy said in the last page of her diary. Mm -hmm. I know now that I brought him into my world. We all did. Gave him all the energy he needed. Our screams were all he needed. Ooh, luck. Jesse, she wasn't crazy. All this really happened. You can fight him. <laughs> oh God, he's coming back. Fight it, Jesse. Oh. You're starting to scream now, Lisa. Sounds like sounds like you're afraid. Yeah. Everybody out of the pool. Jesse. Oh. He can't fight me. I'm here. Nice. Oh. Uh, isn't she getting sliced up right now, or does he not have his claw hand on? Oh, he does, he does. Oh, he's freaking biting her legs. Yeah, get him. Run. Kids, get out of the pool. There you go. Yeah, just aim it at him. I'm Jesse now. Do they see him? They, they probably see Jesse, huh? Kill me, Lisa. <laughs> oh. Just like a dream when nothing works. Exactly. I love you, Lisa. <laughs> no, don't drop it. Oh, well, it's not doing anything for her. I don't know. It's, it just feels better. Feels bad. They're all running. <laughs> Where did he just go? You're okay. free. Oh. What? 
Freddy's just showing himself in front of everybody? Yeah. It's like either that or they see Jesse. Oh. 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 I'm waiting for Ooh. him to go, Jesse. Yeah. It's gonna be alright. Yeah, I'm here to help you. Help yourself! Oh! You can't reason with Freddy. You are all my children now. Ew! He looks yeah. really creepy he right does, there. He does, but he's gonna transform back into Jesse. Whoa. Is she gonna go out to where they went? Where that rat was? Yep, the facility. The power plant. Power plant. Ugh. What the hell? Ew! What are we looking at here? Oh my god! Those are not cute doggies. Oh. Don't be afraid, Lisa. Oh. A kitty! I told you earlier, you said a rat and I said it were a cat. Yeah, I said, but we never see them together. We just did. Like we just did. They're playing mind games with her. I think she's like staying calm enough to wow. <laughs> be able to see what's real. Come to me, Lisa. Jesse, I know you're in there. Stop him. No, no, no. Jesse's dead. Jesse! <laughs> Lisa. I love you, Jesse. <laughs> oh, power of love. He's bleeding. Say, I love you so much, yeah. Jesse. I love you so, so much. He's like, oh! Yeah. Oh. Come back to me, Lisa. I am not afraid of you. <laughs> I'm gonna take him away from you. And you are gonna go straight back to hell, you son of a bitch! Let's no. see it. Do Jesse's it. Jesse's dead. No, Jesse's dead. Please don't even bother trying, please. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Come back to me. He's dead. He's losing his grip. You can get out. <laughs> He'll die with me. No, please don't kiss Freddy Krueger. Oh, uh, she's going to make out with him. Oh, oh she's doing it. Is it working? Okay. <laughs> Ew. But is Jesse gonna come back is the question, and then also the cops are not gonna believe any of this. Right. Whoever it is, they look pretty messed up. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> the spooky music's still playing though. Yeah. School bus. Yeah, school bus shot again from the beginning. Have a good day, huh? Oh, it's too happy. 
Yeah. Hi. Hi, Jesse. Way too happy. Yeah. What is so funny? That was a really great party. Thanks, Lise. Thanks a lot. I can't believe it's actually all over. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna end well here. Kind of get a glimpse of the bus driver. Oh. Is this? Am I going crazy or is this bus going too fast? It's going fine. This bus is going too fast. Uh oh. Driver! Driver, stop! Jesse, just sit down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be sorry yet. Oh, PTSD. I'm sorry. Jesse. It's okay. It's all over. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that jump cut was weird. Yeah. So, what did you think of Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2? Freddy's Revenge. I definitely liked the first one better. Yeah, the, the first, first one, one was, was way better. A lot better. Yeah, for sure. I thought that the concept, at least in this one, was interesting that they didn't make it exactly the same kind of plot. You know, it yeah. wasn't like the same plot with like new characters or a new setting. I mean, I guess it has to be on Elm Street because that's in the title. But I thought that it was interesting to have Freddy use the kid living in Nancy's old house yeah. to do his bidding essentially. But I think the execution <laughs> wasn't really that great. And it wasn't all done poorly in my opinion. I think that um, there was just a lot of moments that could have been done better. And I think when you put it all together, it kind of takes away from the film as a whole. Like the moment where Freddy's at the party and he's terrorizing all of the kids at the party. Like, yeah. Like just him showing himself to everybody. I thought that that was kind of silly because one of the things that made the first one so much more interesting was that everybody kept thinking that Nancy was crazy. Yeah. And nobody's going to think that Lisa or Jesse are crazy if Freddy's just showing himself to a bunch of people. And not to say that they couldn't make that work, but I just don't think that it was done very well. And that ending was... Uh, Questionable. Yeah, I mean, I get that they were trying to go with the, like, oh, this is a dream, even though, like, everything's going back to normal now. Um, like, Freddy's actually still there. It's like the but, first movie. Yeah, but it was just... I don't know, like at the end of the first movie, we were like, oh my God, what? But with this ending, we were just kind of like, okay, like, great, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, the way that they defeated Freddy too, I think was very lackluster. It was just yeah. like, I mean, I well, don't know. Well, they didn't defeat him. Yeah, I mean, right. <laughs> but like the moment, like the big climax where they defeat him or they, you know, quote unquote, defeat him. It was it was just like, okay, what what's really going on here? <laughs> like, it's just, it was just... It, it felt it felt lackluster. very random yeah exactly it was like, a very random movie yeah i didn't know what if they were dreaming if they weren't dreaming if when freddie was killing people if the people that were getting killed saw jesse and not freddie there's a lot of random like like the scene where that bird exploded mm-hmm and I'm like, okay, is that in Jesse's dream? But then they never showed that he was dreaming. And then if he wasn't, his parents seemed to not be phased that that happened at all. Yeah, so that's um, something so, else that being able or not being able to discern between real life and a dream. In the first one, I thought that that was such a cool well, idea. They did a better job at it because they kind of distinguished when she would go to bed what was a dream and what wasn't. Yeah, and it leaves you on the edge of your seat. But in this one, because the reactions from people when we discovered that it wasn't a dream, but there were still crazy things going on and they didn't really seem like it was that big of a deal, yeah. it really took away from it. Well, the first one, it was Nancy trying to get Freddy Krueger out of the dream, mm -hmm. you know? So it kind of gave it like a different plot because it was like, oh, we can't kill him in the dream world, but maybe we could bring him to the real mm -hmm. world. But in this movie, I, 
I honestly yeah, have he's like no... manipulating the real world, but he also needs Jesse to do his killing for him. So like, why would he even need Jesse if he can do these things in the real world? It was just kind of like, what is he seeing? And if he is seeing that, then he's not dreaming. And then it kind of just took away the whole aspect of the dreaming, which kind of is what made the first Nightmare on Elm Street like so interesting compared to a different slasher is that it was a dream thing. Mm -hmm, and he was exactly. getting these people in the dreams as opposed to this was like, they made you think that he was dreaming, but they weren't dreaming. And then there were scenes where it's like, oh, he's definitely dreaming. But then he's not dreaming. Yeah. And maybe this one really was just kind of thrown together. Like maybe um, they wanted to get a sequel out because the first, the one, first one did got so really well. Popular. Yeah. yeah. So That's maybe what they, it felt like. Yeah. Because it wasn't any of the same actors or anything. I don't know if like the writers or directors or anything were the same from film to film. But yeah, maybe it was something that was just thrown together as like a cash grab kind of thing. And you, you're not meant to think about it that deeply. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you were thinking about it way too hard when really you're just supposed to watch it and enjoy it for what it is but no i mean it was kind of a kind of a bummer compared to the first one because the first was. one was actually really good yeah and i thought that the sequel for halloween and the sequel for friday the 13th uh, i don't think that they were i mean if they weren't better than the first ones i don't think they were that much worse no they weren't worse but yeah i think the friday the 13th was better in some ways than the first one to me, even though I think I said that I liked the first one better. And Halloween 2 was just kind of the same thing again, which wasn't worse, it just wasn't as suspenseful. This one was just kind of, it was like so random. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was just very, very random. Yeah. And uh, Freddy Krueger wasn't as scary in this one. Mm -hmm. It seemed like he wasn't doing as much or something. He would just pop up and be like, come to me, Lisa, and then yeah. like go away. And then it was like, it was Jesse that was there, but I don't know. It was mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. Well, guys, let us know in the comments what you thought about this one compared to the first one. I'm curious yeah. to see if uh, maybe we are just thinking too hard on it or if that is kind of the general perception of this movie that it was really, I mean, it, I'm sure most people would say it was worse than the first one, but I don't know if people disliked it as much it as we just, just did. It was weird. Yeah. It was yeah. just very weird. Yeah. But uh, also let us know in the comments if you've seen the other Nightmare on Elm Street films that come after this, if any of them get better, <laughs> because I do want to keep going, even yeah. though I didn't enjoy this one. Maybe um, they learn from this. I can see them but... getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> that one was pretty wild. I hope not, at least, because I, I want to watch them one way or the other, but yeah. I am curious to know what the general perception is. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you have not already, please give this video a like because it helps us out so much. And subscribe if you're new and check out the links in the description if you'd like to see more from us because we both have our own individual YouTube channels and Twitch streams linked down there. And we'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.